Hey, it's Bay, and today I'm going to be reviewing the MacTrem tripod. This could be the best tripod for under $100 because of the quality and functionality that this tripod offers. It kind of reminds me of the tripod that I'm currently using, the Mifoto Road Trip. It has pretty much the same exact features, but for about half the price. This product was sent to me in exchange for a video review, but everything that I say in this video are my own thoughts and opinions. I'll put a link in the description to Amazon if you're interested in purchasing this tripod. You get the tripod inside its own carrying case which is nice especially for the price. The bag unzips about halfway and there's a strap that you can use to carry it. Besides the tripod, you also get a phone mount adapter, an L-shaped bracket adapter thing that you can use to get vertical shots, and a user manual. When I first took out the tripod, I noticed that the legs were very stiff. They were a little difficult to open up and set up, but I like it because I know that the legs aren't going to move anywhere when I pick the tripod up. By the way, there is a strap that you can use to pick this tripod up and it is amazing. If you don't want your tripod legs to be that stiff, you can use the included hex wrenches to adjust the tripod as needed. Both of the little hex tools are held securely on one of the legs. This thing is made out of aluminum alloy and weighs only 2.9 pounds, but it is advertised to hold up to 33 pounds, which is a lot. I personally wasn't able to test that out because I don't have any gear that heavy, but I was able to hold my 3 pound camera no problem. The height of the tripod can be adjusted from 21.5 inches to 62.5 inches which is great for a tripod this size. You can also invert the center column if you want to get lower shots. The center column has a little hook on the bottom to hang your bag to make the tripod more stable. Each leg has three quick release locks to quickly extend or retract the legs. The Mifoto tripods have these circular locks that look more aesthetic, but these locks on this tripod are more practical in my opinion. Ultimately, I think it all comes down to personal preference. You also have these locks to set the legs in two different angles. You have the standard tripod angle and a lower, more wider angle that's a little bit more sturdy, but you will lose height. The feet are hard rubber and will grip most if not all terrain that you set it on. Also, you have a foam handle kind of thing on one of the legs so it'll be easier to hold in cold weather. The ball head reminds me yet again of the Mifoto tripod. You can unscrew the ball head to reveal the standard tripod thread to put on another head if you want to. What I really like about this ball head is that the knobs are labeled. You have one knob on the bottom for pan, and the largest knob and the blue knob control the ball head. There are measurements for the pan to get precise panning. You also have another knob towards the top for quick release. The quick release has a safety mechanism where if it's not loosened all the way, it won't come out. The ball head has a bubble level on the top for standard leveling, and a bubble level on the quick release plate knob for vertical shots. A cool feature that this tripod has is that it can turn into a monopod. All you have to do is loosen the center column, unscrew the hook on the bottom of the column, unscrew the tripod leg with the foam handle, and then attach the center column to the tripod leg. The monopod can be adjusted from a height of 32 inches to 64 inches which is perfect to get those steady shots. Overall, the MacTrem tripod is an amazing tripod for under $100 and it could possibly be one of the best ones for the price. It's so similar to the Mifoto Road Trip tripod and pretty much has all the same features, but it costs only half as much. If you're on a budget and would like to get a great quality tripod to start creating content, I highly recommend this one. This is also a great option if you like to travel because it's super portable for what it can do. Again, I'll leave a link in the description to Amazon if you're interested. That was my video review of the MacTrem tripod. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell so you get a notification every time I upload. Also, make sure to visit my social media links in the description and follow me there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.